now to the very latest on schools. Right now in Lansing, the legislature, the governor, and the Department of Education are working out the details on a plan for schools during this COVID-19 crisis. We are starting to learn more about what you can expect. 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell is live with a look at what we've learned so far. Kim? Yes, I've been talking to state lawmakers and they've been talking about what's going on behind the scenes, what could be decided, but what we don't have is an official plan just yet. We asked the governor when we will. You'll get an announcement on that on Thursday. Um, you know, we are finalizing plans, uh, educating one and a half million kids uh, is a, a completely important and um, complicated undertaking. And that's why we want to make sure we get it right. Governor Gretchen Whitmer says our state's leaders are finalizing plans that when you are educating about one and a half million children, there is a lot to work out. We have heard tentative details from sources that schools will be allowed to provide remote learning that works for their district, that high school seniors will be allowed to graduate and teachers will be paid. There is an online petition with tens of thousands of signatures calling on the decision to cancel the rest of the school year to be delayed. But even the governor said last week that it is unlikely schools will be physically opening back up this year. Recently, me and my friend had a crying station. These are pictures of Brittany Thomas, a senior at Oak Park High School. She is preparing to go to college at Albany State in Georgia, where she plans to study to become a physical therapist. She is heartbroken that she probably won't get to experience the traditions that come with your senior year. Prom and graduation. We really, especially my class at my school, we really been through a lot. Brittany says as she grieves for her senior year, she still understands why school has been canceled. Right now, her cousin is in the hospital, although recovering and making progress, fighting COVID-19. And she says everyone needs to stay safe. Coming up on 7 Action News at 5, we'll talk to a local superintendent about the things he's most concerned about and what he wants to hear from the governor come Thursday. Reporting live, Kim Russell, 7 Action News. Yeah, and you got to hope those seniors will have another time to celebrate later once everyone is safe. Thank you so much, Kim, for the live report.